The ABCA Video Tip of the Week is presented by Volleyball Training Solutions, an educational resource and interactive website for volleyball coaches, and brought to you by the ABCA. Is the athletic position, so dynamic, proper position, loading the hips, keeping your lower back out of it. If you start using your back instead of your hips, if you start doing this, trying to dig a ball, trying to pass a ball, you will start to break down your lower back. What that means is that if you do repetitively flex your back and extend your back, all that force is going to transfer through your disc. Okay, your back is not designed like a hinge. It's not designed like your hip joint, which is a ball socket joint. It properly bends and extends like this. This is the athletic position that you want an athlete to be able to get into. If they do not get into that position, <clears throat> does that mean that they're not going to hurt? They probably will not hurt if they don't get into that position. So this is not going to hurt your athlete. If they do that consistently, year after year after year, they will break down their lower back. You will end up with, especially tall athletes, you will end up with spondylolisthesis, um, spinal hypermobility, things like that that will create problems. If you ask your athlete, does your back ever hurt? They will tell you that they have back pain. They think it's normal. They think after a hard workout, it's perfectly okay for your back to hurt. Um, that's not the case. So what we hammer home is teach proper mechanics, teach proper mechanics, teach Dynamic proper. position is basically what it all comes down to. Dynamic athletic position. Loading your hip, largest muscle in your body, your glute maximus. That's where your power comes from. That's where the ability to come up and extend, move quickly, side to side, back and forth. It all starts with your butt muscle. That's the engine of your body. If I constantly have to come out of this and back up, I will not be able to move as quickly, move as efficiently, or move as powerful as when I get into this dynamic position. Um, look in basketball, look in volleyball, look in football, the three-point position. Everything boils down to that dynamic athletic position. Coming down like this, same thing. So you basically create a Z. You create an angle through the ankle, the knee, and the hip, where everything is stacked properly, everything is dynamically balanced, and now you'll be able to propel, move, um, as agile and as active and as dynamic as you can. This is not a dynamic active position. I don't have my joint in the dynamic neutral position. I'm extending my knee. I'm extending or flexing my hip maximally and that does not create a spring-like situation. So what you're looking for is to be in a dynamic spring-like situation. So you don't have to stop here. You can continue on lower again as long as you stay in that flexible dynamic position. We're going to follow up on Jimmer's previous statements relative to a dynamic athletic position looking at Corey Moster, All-American Libro from Michigan State. And you notice as Corey goes through these passing reps, how little movement comes from a bending over of the spine. In actuality, her spine stays in the same relative position, and most of the movement is done with her hips and legs. So we're going to stop the video here where you see where she starts at this angle, and as she moves, she stays in pretty much the same angle in terms of there's very little up and down movement with the head. All the up and down movement comes from the legs, the hips, the ankles, and the spine stays in the same angle. And this is exactly what Jimmer was talking about in terms of, of keep that dynamic athletic position. And if you have to drop down to pass, we want to make sure we're dropping our hips and not bending over at the waist, as Corey so aptly demonstrates here. In these last few clips, we want to show how as Corey moves to the ball, her head stays level. And this is why she's so good at staying in that dynamic athletic position. Uh, so many passers, their head comes up and down. There's a lot of up and down movement. So as Corey passes the ball, her head stays very level. So this is a very good demonstration by Corey of a dynamic athletic position.